welcome to my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series and today we're gonna make the inspect item system so whenever we, our player interact with an item we're gonna inspect it and it's just like a resident evil series so we can rotate our item to whenever I want so let me give you a quick example on how this gonna look after the tutorial so let's say this is our scope if I press E then this will be up I can rotate it by W A S D and also I can click mouse and drag and it will also rotate so I can do this by mouse and using this W A S D key also and you can do this for our guitar like this and also for this chest and all the coding for this will be same so just hang tight and we wanna make this so this is my first person template from by default unreal engine and all i have did till now is created this item folder and imported the fbx file of the item in our model uh, this model are created by me in autodesk maya and you can download this the links in description so let's make it so first thing we're gonna do is make an actor and when our player interact with this actor we're gonna inspect it so at the first thing what we do is open your player character whichever you are using i am using the first person character of unreal by default and i have deleted several components the vr gun and the mesh so we don't need all this we, we only need this off so first just minimize it and add a input so click on your settings and in your project settings there is an input panel so add action mapping to it and we're gonna call this interact and let's set a key to this and whenever we press e this is gonna interact so where is e this just close this and after this let's make on your item folder let's make a blueprint interface so create a new folder called interface and we're gonna save all our interface in this blueprint and in your blueprint there is a blueprint interface and just call this inspect interface what is blueprint in oh, inspect interface so what are the blueprint interfaces are let's learn from first that so you uh, when you open this this will open like this and the blueprint or in interface are the bunch of functions are uh, only read only so you can use this function in whatever the uh, blueprint you want just uh, so this blueprint interface are used to communicate between two blueprints by just sending messages and we can say this who can receive this message so we can uh, implement like this so we, uh, we implement this blueprint interface to our actor whichever the item we want to inspect and we tell from the first person that we want to inspect this item and this function will execute or uh, by this so let's name this function inspect interface interact inspect interact like this and add an input called player and the name is a first but the type of the player variable is first person you have to set whatever the character you are using i am using the first person so just object reference hit compile and save and in here on the first person let's make a interact code so just right click and hit interact and you can see this interact action mapping we have just created so on action events interact so whenever we press e this will gonna execute so just right click and get overlapping actor this one so what what is gonna do it will just uh, check if uh, our players character uh, overlap with uh, how many actors and create uh, an array and from that we can say that uh, we have we are currently overlapping with uh, like let's say three actors we are currently overlapping 
so it will be uh, iterate to all the actors and we gonna check our condition for it so first just class filter add it to the actor and from this node just attach to for each loop with break and use this execute node to this pressed and from this array element get a node does implement interface and what the interface would be the interface we have just created the inspect interface so on inspect interface and if it's true if the current over being overlapping actor is implementing this interface then we gonna message to it so add a branch and if the actor being overlap is implementing this interface then what we gonna do we gonna just inspect it so inspect interact and message so this this gonna message what the uh, actor we gonna communicate with so the target would be the actor we gonna communicate with so the actor would be this array element so this actor would be uh, interacted and the player will be let's reference it to self self is self and just connect this node back to this break so it will the loop gonna break after we gonna interact so just double click on this white node so need look it a bit more look clean and just make, make it like this hit compile and save so we have done our interaction code but now we need a actor or an object to interact with so let's create an object right click on your content browser and create a blueprint class then the class will be actor so we're gonna make it a master item like this open this up and add the component so we're gonna add a static mesh to it and let's name it item and the I, this is the static mesh of the item and we also add a sphere collision so we got our actor gonna overlap with this after doing so on your event graph uh, you will open like this on your uh, it will select the class defaults but now we want to add our created interface so how do we gonna add that so click on your class settings and add your interface whichever you are using i am using interact interface we have just built so just click on it and it will be added to it make sure you are on the class settings and now we can use that function in here so right click and in your add event there is a function uh, wait we have to compile it so after compiling you're gonna see that function in here the inter inspect interact and how do you gonna do it? it it is not an event of this current blueprint it is an interact of interface so you can see this uh, upper right corner this interface icon so let's in inter interact with this icon so uh, right in this player just promote this to a variable because we gonna need this reference in future so just made it a player and whenever we interact with this it will gonna print hello so just test it out print string hello compile save and let's make a child actor of it so right click on this and create a child blueprint class and let's name it guitar so what are child blueprint child blueprint is the child blueprint can inherit all the functions all the variable from the uh, main your parent blueprint so the master item is the parent blueprint and this is the child blueprint of this master item so we can use all the functions and all the variables of this child blueprint however we can edit this component but we cannot delete this component which are inherited from the parent so we cannot delete this item or sphere because it is inherited from a, a parent blueprint so just in you click on this item and let's add an item called guitar so i have this guitar mesh and this look a bit more uh, tiny so I'll just scale it bit uh, larger like three i think this would work and just drag and drop to your viewport and make it a bit up 
so whenever we hit play when he, when i press e it will do nothing you can see it not printing hello but if i being overlap with this i actor called guitar and if i press e this will print hello you can see that so if i here and press e it is doing nothing but if i in here and press e it is interacting and our interacting code is being hello so after this uh, let's make a interact widget to it so right click and use user interface and this would be blueprint widget blueprint and in, let's call this interact open this up click on this we don't need this canvas panel so just click on it and delete it however what we need is a border so add a border to it and in the border add a text and make this fill screen to desired so it will show only the desired on the border just click on the padding and let's say our padding would be 10 raised to 5 to 10 comma 5 this would work and let's the add the border brush color to dark black and set the alpha to let's say 0.4 so it will gonna uh, transparent and if you want to use this color all the way then just click on this drag and drag and drop to here so you're gonna use this color all the time so hit ok ok and what will be the interact text would be so let's say inspect so hit compile and save and close this and on your master item the parent class add a widget so uh, click on this item and add widget so this I, uh, widget would be a child component of this item and what would be the widget so click on this widget and on your user interface just widget class to your interact and make space this space to screen uh, let me show you what is the difference between screen and world so let's say if this is world so this will face to this direction but uh, but uh, if we use the space to screen then this will always face to our player's camera direction so our screen this will always face to towards our screen uh, let's make this draw size like 300 and 100 and let's make this a bit up like let's say 20 hit compile and save and in here on your event graph just click on this sphere component right click and add event called event begin overlap so whenever our player begin overlap with this we have to cast to our first person character you have to cast whichever player you are using so just cast and like this and if our player even begin over if it's our player character then our widget would be visible so drag your widget from here and set visibility so let's say true and we have to do the same thing so just click on this sphere and add event called and begin overlap so whenever we end just copy this and control w to copy and paste at same time so just whenever we do not overlap with this this uh, widget would be invisible so just set new visibility to false in here it's true and it false and by default uh, sorry connect it to here compile and by default the widget visibility would be false so just click on this widget and search visibility visible and by default it's false compile save and let's see how it's gonna look so if we hit play uh, you can cannot see the widget now but if we being overlap with this you can see this inspect uh, this look uh, much more ugly so just let fix this uh, click on your event interact and in your inspect make this horizontal alignment vertical alignment to center and let's just make this border padding to 4 comma 2 
4 comma 2 hit compile and save and in your master item uh, let's make this a bit down and the okay so it this will gonna work so if we hit play if we be in overlap with this you, you can see this inspect if you end overlap if then it's gone it's visible it's gone if we press e you can see we are interacting with and it pressing hello so this is for this tutorial now and in next tutorial we're gonna make how do we inspect this so thank you for watching guys and bye bye